here's the concept of the, the spear fisherman or the fisherman type problem or any time you look underwater. So it could be a swimmer, for example. So if I want to see the fish, uh, first of all, if I want to see anything, I have to look at it, right? And light has to shine on that and reflect off of it and then shine back into my eyes. So when I see you, the reason I can see you is light shines onto you, reflects off of you and straight into my eyes. So for me to see the fish, same thing has to happen. We need a sun shining on the fish, light reflects off the fish and into my eyes. Well, here's where the problem comes into play. Light, when it shines off you into my eyes, it travels in a straight line. When it travels from the fish into my <coughs> eyes, it doesn't because we're now going from water to air, right? So here's what happens. Light comes off the fish like this. We're going from a high to low index, so the angle increases and goes into my eyes like this. Now here's the concept of this problem. <coughs> According to my brain, how should light travel? Straight, okay? My brain cannot comprehend this refraction that's happening. So according to my eyes, according to my brain, this fish is not where I think it is, or this fish is not where, I think it's not where I see it, okay? So I will think the fish is located right here. And in fact, if I were to shoot at the fish or spear the fish where I think I see it, I will miss. How should I aim? Below. below. I should aim below. So this is what we would call the apparent fish or apparent location of the fish. So the fish will appear to be lower uh, shallower than it actually is. All right? So, um, so anyway, let's go ahead and do a problem with this. So a problem I might ask you is, um, what is the apparent depth? Could also ask you the reverse of this. Given the apparent depth, what is the true depth? In which case you'll kind of do the opposite of how we're going to solve this. So let me give you some numbers. Let's say the true depth of the fish is uh, 7 meters. So the true depth of the fish is 7 meters. Okay, let's say the location between say here <coughs> and here when it exits is 4 meters. Okay, we're going to go ahead and solve this. So the first thing we do want to do, notice where it's bending, right? So we want to be able to do some Snell's law. So here's my normal. I want to get to this angle first. This would be my incident angle, theta i. So notice I have a triangle here, right? This is my fish. This is <coughs> 4. This is 7. I'm looking for this angle. So how do I get that angle? Tangent. So we're going to go tangent of theta i equals 4 over 7. Help me out. So that's my incident angle, 29.7 right here. Is that confirmed, by the way? OK, now we can do Snell's law. So we're going to do Snell's law to find the refracted angle out here. So we're going from water, right? 1.33. <coughs> sine of 29.7 equals 1 sine of theta 
according to my prediction, the angle should be increasing, going from a large to a small index, should increase. What's the answer? And sure enough, it does increase. This angle's right here. Okay, all right, here's where people usually get have the most trouble, seeing this little geometry, this little jump we're going to make here. Uh, <coughs> maybe I'll do this, I'll kind of show this here. So this was this light that came off the surface, right? Here's the normal. This was 41.2. Now remember, I see in a straight line. So I'm trying to find the location to the fish. So according to my eyes, I see in a straight line, right? So here's my apparent fish right here. Here's my line of sight. If this is 41.2, what is this angle? 41.2, right? These are vertical angles. So these would be the same. So this 41.2 should be the same as this one, 41.2. Okay, now where does that belong on this picture? Is it this little guy right here? It's the whole thing, okay? So from here to here, this whole thing right here is 41.2, okay? So that our other angle over here this was the like 29.7. That whole thing is 41.2. All right, so remember, we're ultimately looking for this depth D. <coughs> we're looking for this depth D, and we already knew this distance was given to be 4. So we just want to solve our triangle here. This is D, this is 4. If this is 41.2, what's this angle right here? Ninety minus that, right? Or you could another thing you could do is say if this is 41.2, then this is 41.2. So however you want to look at it, this is 41.2. This one would be 48.8. We'll just use it. Point to you. Depends how you've been rounding. So 48.8 right there. So solve your triangle however you want to do it. Um, let's do tangent. Tangent of 48.8 <coughs> equals D over 4 opposite over adjacent. Solve for D. And hopefully D is less than 7 because we predicted it was going to be shallower, right? What's the answer? 4. Point what? 4.5.